Yeah. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is season the water with salt. Both of them? Uh, split it between both, yeah. We have one tablespoon of salt with salt in both of the waters, one for uh, broccoli and the other one. You ain't gotta use all of it. I ain't gonna use all of it. And the other one for pasta. Ooh! <laughs> okay, next step, I'm going to oil the water. You're doing both, right? No, just one. Because the other one for broccoli is just steam blanching. In my opinion, the oil will help the um, noodles stop from sticking together when you put them in the pasta. I mean, when you put them in the water. And we're making salmon and shrimp alfredo. Shrimp, shrimp alfredo and salmon. <laughs> this is about uh, how much is it? That's a whole pound. A whole pound of linguine noodles. Linguine. And I broke them in half so that we could get more of them in the pot. I'm the star. <laughs> no, really? He's the star. He's the star, Alright, so we got the noodles in the um, pot. Now allow them to boil and cook them to al dente. Al dente means cook to tender, basically. Firm. Sorry, we use a chef term. Firm, but soft to the touch. <laughs> what? Okay, he can pass me the broccoli. Now I have like two cups of broccoli that we're gonna steam and blanch in the boiling water. Woo. But did she set up an ice bath? No, she didn't. Now I have like two cups of broccoli that we're gonna steam and blanch in the boiling water. Woo. But did she set up an ice bath? No, she didn't. Ooh. No, she didn't. Well, with the steaming and blanching process, I always have an ice bath at the end um, so that we can shop the, the broccoli and uh, not overcook it and lose our nutrients. And you don't want to take away that color. That too. Always, always have like vibrant colors in the dish. Not, don't cook them all the way until the color is gone and the nutrients because then the dish looks boring and it's I'm not going to take that well, so. Blanching and shopping. Okay, so now the broccoli is being blanched. We're going to take it out in about a couple seconds. Uh, the pasta is still being boiled. It's not done yet. But with but with the broccoli, you want to get that, you want to get the nice color to come out, but you don't want to overcook it. So now we're going to blanch it. Right now we're at a stage where we got to shock it now, so we don't cook all the nutrients. So by doing that, we turn off the heat. Ma, Ma has an ice bath set up here. Can I get a colander? You could have just done that. I don't want to put that transfer in hot water. Rinsing off the pasta with cold water as like another blanching shocking treatment uh, for noodles. So while he doing that, I'll start on that first off. So we're gonna take a cup and a half of half and half. Keep the pan on like medium heat so you don't scorch the milk and burn the milk and the pan because that's not gonna be okay. What you got going on? Don't be on the phone behind me. Um, I took a full package of cream cheese, and this we're gonna add to the, the to the milk. But we gotta let the milk heat up just a little bit to a point where it can melt the cream cheese. So we're just gonna wait on that for a minute and give them the milk time to heat. All right, so the seasoning blend for the salmon consists of cayenne pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, and seasoning season, season oil. Dang, can't got your tongue, homie? 
Alright, so um, first, Roll. what I'm going to do first, before I put on the seasoning, I'm going to spread a little bit of garlic butter over the top of seven. Made by your boy. <laughs> I think you're gonna give off a good flavor for it instead of just add, adding the seasoning. Mm. The garlic, uh, the garlic butter, you're gonna have a garlic taste to it, plus a rich taste from the butter. And it's gonna cook, it's gonna bake well in the oven. Yeah, coast to coast, get that thing out through the. <laughs> Say what you gotta do, baby. Rub that meat down. Yeah, alright. See, that's why I don't like you right there, because you didn't even have to do all that. <laughs> it just sounded weird. Oh, yeah, it did. My bad. <laughs> alright, so now that I have it rubbed, wow, okay. Now that I have it dressed with the garlic butter, I'm gonna add the seasoning. Do we got a lemon? Yeah. I'm gonna add a lemon to it, too. Gotta be one with the meat. Wow, okay, that's <laughs> Oh, and you talking about what I said was wrong. <laughs> like, <laughs> but you know, you want your food to be good, so you gotta touch it. You don't wanna just sprinkle it from the top. I said rub it down, but you said <laughs> And expect it, you know, all the flavor to be locked in. Like, you gotta be one with the meat. You want it all the way around. Not too much. You don't want it too saucy. Put, put some on the side. And then nobody's gonna like it. You know what? I'm doing? Yeah, salmon is a good fish, but it's easy to mess up. Fish in general, yeah. they're so delicate too. So yeah, it you is. can easily tear it, overcook it, overseas. Exactly. You do a lot of things. A lot of people. A lot of people think it's like regular meat, steak, and everything. So they they tend to overseason it and become too saucy. All right, so that right there, that's fine. And it looks amazing. Yeah. It smells good, too. Yeah, yeah. All right, so now it's going in the oven at 450. Can you drizzle some um, garlic butter on it? So it can, like, because I, I want my skin to be crispy at the bottom. I want your skin crispy. We can just put some on the uh, on the back of the, on the skin. Oh, well, yeah, that's even better. I just like to keep the pan, you know, a little more. It's a non-stick uh, pan too, so. I just want some butter on my fish, man. Can you just add butter to my fish? We already added a lot, but all right, bro. Oh. Don't you want to drizzle? Thank you. See, that, that went hard right there. No, oh, that looked good. What's your temp? Fish? Or the oven? Okay, right now we're making the Alfredo base. So I put um, the cup and a half of half and half inside of there, and it's, it done heated up. And then I added the um, whole package of cream cheese. So now we're just whisking it together, breaking down that, that um, cream cheese, and trying to get it to melt in this half and half. I'm trying to let it come to a boil. So now we're making a slurry, which is uh, water, and you can use flour or cornstarch, but basically it just helps thicken the, um, the alfredo sauce. So we're just gonna add a little bit to help thicken it while it's simmering. And we're gonna stir it in. And it's gonna begin to thicken, you'll be able to see it. A little bit. So now it's starting to thicken. We're getting somewhere, but. Thicker than a Snickers. That, exactly, that's what I'm talking about right there. When, when it's thick like that. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. There it is right there. <laughs> What does that make thicker than the bowl of oatmeal? Mm -hmm. It's starting to come together now. It's starting to thicken with the little slurry that we used, which is amazing. 
And also with a slurry, you can also use arrowroot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, but not that common. It's really not common. Most people use flour and water, but arrowroot can also go away with a uh, slurry. And a tip, do not try to cook a slurry by itself. Please, please, please. It don't make no sense. So then we have some like a garlic butter mixture with- um The fresh, leftover garlic butter mixture. Yeah, with like minced garlic mm -hmm. and uh, butter, garlic powder, onion powder, a little parsley. We just gonna add it to but for, the Alfredo sauce. But for safety reasons, this is not the same gar garlic butter that we use for the salmon. No, we have, actually it's right here. We have two different two ones. Two different so ones. Please. Two different. So everybody that made comment and say, yeah, that's contamination. No, no, no. Two different ones. It's two different ones. We do this. Especially me, but. We certified out here. I'm a certified chef. What about you, Chef Jamal? Shots, okay? I'll be certified. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be certified by me. My boy gonna, my boy gonna get there. No. Now we're gonna add like. This is like a half a cup of cheese. This is uh, Italian mozzarella cheese. Um, and a cup of mushroom in here or whatever. Note that I haven't even salted the um, the Alfredo sauce yet. We're gonna do it at the end. Cause we're using so many dairy products. We already salt things such as cheese. We just wanna, we don't wanna overly salt it since we have those components. So we'll see at the end if it's to taste. And we can add the mushrooms so they can begin to tenderize while they're cooking inside the Alfredo sauce. And here we have some some shrimp, but we're not going to add that yet. We're going to add that at the end because it don't take long to cook shrimp. And you don't want to overcook the shrimp. That's good right there. But you should try that. Okay, so. Try it. It needs to tan a little bit more if I'm yeah, More salt. Okay, so while she's finishing up the Alfredo sauce, I'm about to pull and check on the salmon that I put in the oven. done without even being temp. I can tell by the way it looked, but salmon should be always cooked to 145 degrees Fahrenheit. Broccoli to the Alfredo sauce. Now we're going to add the, um, the shrimp. And then um, I made like a, a salt and garlic and black pepper mixture to season at the end. Because like I said before, we didn't want to over salt the Alfredo sauce. So gonna sprinkle it over there until our ancestors tell us to stop in our song. She don't wanna over over the salt it. It's more garlic powder than in here than salt, but I did add some a lot, you know enough salt to taste. Um you see how how it thickens? That's the Alfredo base like that's how you want to make your Alfredo if you're making it from scratch. It should be this thick nappe in the culinary world, we call it a nappe. That means to... Consistent. Um, that's consistency and it's to coat the back of the spoon. So when the sauce is that thick, that's when you know it's ready. All right, so now she's finishing up the Alfredo sauce. I'm about to temp my salmon that I made. Don't worry, the camera make it look like that. It look way better. So, go for it. I guess you can call it crustinis or uh, French baguette. Big pieces of bread, whatever. But uh, French French baguette, but it is, this is French bread. So, um, so for the bread, I just wipe some oil across of it. Uh, now I'm about to season it with just only salt and pepper. I should have portioned out the salt. I mean the uh, pepper. That way, be easier instead of trying to shake this all over it, but. It's still getting the job done. Ratchet. <laughs> Next, you add the salt. 
which I don't know why she put it in this little Oh, sprinkle that shit up container. My, that's because I had it left over from the Alfredo. Just use it. God. Just use it. We don't waste no products. Wow, we done. <laughs> now it's going in the oven for probably about tops five minutes. Okay, so now the dinner is complete. We finished. We're done cooking. We made the uh, the pasta. We did the salmon. We did the crostinis. So now we played our own, and I think mine's is better plated. This one is mine. You always think yours better. I think mine is better. We're gonna let the subscribers determine that. And this is hers. Don't get me wrong, hers look nice, but it's your boy. You always think you look better. So, you guys, subscribers, Chef Gang, um, subscribe to the video and tell us who played y'all thought the best. I mean, I'm going to keep it humble, but we all know who won. It wasn't you. Once again, this is hers, Chef Dave, and this your boy. I won. Eat to who? <laughs> but we did a good job, though. Now we about to taste this dish. Oh. And watch it be good, especially the salmon since I made it. Oh my. See, that's why. Nah, have mercy. I said, Caval, have mercy.